एंटार्क्टिक वार्मिंग ओजोन होल एंड ओजोन डिप्लीशन यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज ओजोन दिस इज दिस वन ऑफ दोज रेयर गैसेस फाउंड इन द स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर मोस्टली इन द लोअर स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर ओजोन केपेबल ऑफ एब्सॉर्बिंग अल्ट्रा वायलेट रेडिएशन द सेकेंड पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज दट ये जो ओजोन है ओजोन गोस थ्रू कंटिन्यूस formation and destruction does anybody know what is this cycle called ek cycle hai yes it's called as chapman cycle exactly bhai itna hi jaan hai that's all chapman cycle c h a p m a n okay ozon is formed the ozon gets destroyed and then again it is formed and again it gets destroyed it's called as the chapman cycle now what happens is ye apni introduction ho gaya You probably could have a small sketch as to what the equations. Ah, diagram me ah equation dal sakte ho how ozone is created and how ozone is destroyed. You can put this in English. Now the ozone hole, okay, is related to the stratospheric winds, winds, and it is related to the polar vortex in. ऑन एंटार्क्टिका देखो होता क्या है द पोलर वोटिक्स ये है क्या दीज आर वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग स्पिनिंग एयर नियर द पोल्स इन द अपर ट्रोपोस्फेयर एंड द एक्सटेंड इन टू द स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर ऑल्सो देखिए पोलर वोटिक्स अभी आपको मैंने डायग्राम बना के दिखाया था सो इफ If this is this is the Earth above the poles, यहाँ पर very strong vortex है. Above the poles, यहाँ पर very strong vortex है. और ये vortex का reason क्या है? The vortex reason है the gradient between equator towards the poles. Now you tell me which gradient is stronger? The northern gradient is stronger or the southern gradient is stronger? Anybody? The northern gradient or the southern gradient? The southern gradient is stronger. Why? Anybody? Why? Because on an average, on an average, Antarctica is far more cooler than Arctic. Okay. Because Antarctica is larger continent. Hai. Okay. You don't have disruptions as much. The southern Antarctica is far more cooler than the Arctic region. It's का मतलब है. जो पोलर वोटेक्स है वो कहां पर स्ट्रॉन्ग होगा द सदर्न पोल्स में स्ट्रॉन्ग होगा द पोलर वोटेक्स इज स्ट्रॉन्गर ओवर एंटार्क्टिका ना व्हाट दिस पोलर वोटेक्स डस दिस पोलर वोटेक्स इट इट इज वेरी वेरी कोल्ड एंड इट ट्रैप्स इट ट्रैप्स नाइट्रोजन एंड एंड नॉक्स बोलते हैं नॉक्स Okay, which is capable of releasing chloride radicals when they interact with chlorofluorocarbons. Okay, so it's like this is this is Antarctica. Antarctica. Its के ऊपर में यहाँ पर strong polar vortex है, and this polar vortex. and this polar vortex has nitrogen and nox this interacts with the chlorofluorocarbons and releases releases chloride radical and this chloride radical will be responsible for ozone depletion responsible for ozone depletion now what happens is because of global warming because of global warming the polar vortex weakens and allows and allows the cold antarctic air to spread okay so pehle kya tha this is the cold antarctic air cold antarctic air yahan par theek hai it's here so inside this i have got the cold conditions mein the nitrogen and the nox will get trapped okay But when the polar vortex weakens, it falls and it gets bigger. 
it becomes large the nitrogen and the nox gases they spread out to a large area and therefore the released chloride can deplete a bigger area of the ozone and therefore the ozone depletion substances also spread creating larger ozone hole aur yahi phenomena bolte hain that this is related to stratospheric warming and the weakening of the polar vortex above antarctica by the way there is one wrong notion about ozone hole i, I hope you know this that ozone hole is not a gap remember this as a ched nahi hai okay i do not know if you know this or not ozone hole is not actually a hole ozone hole basically kya hai in some area the proportion of ozone is far less than what it should be yes shit you are right is a type of dilution of the ozone that's the reason gadda ban gaya ched ban gaya aisa nahi hai and this ozone thinning happens across ozone thinning tropical areas mein bhi hai polar areas mein bhi hai antarctica mein bhi hai but the thinning is far more over antarctica and the southern waters ods is ozone depletion depleting substances so this can be a question it discuss the relationship of the the polar vortex the stratospheric polar vortex okay, and the ozone depletion